Andrea. Hey, I'm Meg. And we are City, City Crashers. Crashers. Have you ever crashed a party? Yes, I crashed the VMAs when I was like 14. Parties, show, everything, or like a few feet from Madonna and Britney making out. What? So we heard about this couple that crashed a White House party a couple years ago and thought that that was awesome. And we figured, uh, how did they do it? How did no one notice them? So it got us thinking, why can't we do that? Why can't we go across the country and all these cool events, all these different festivals, we want to crash those parties. Have I ever crashed a party? I've crashed a party as like a guest, but I will be crashing a wedding you in New York. Wait, watch out the it. weddings of New York. Do you guys ever crash a party? Well. Absolutely. You yeah? have? Yes. Tell us about not it. Not recently, not since I'm like old. <laughs> What's super cool about crashing a party? I think it's the fact that I don't know anybody. So wouldn't it be cool if there's a show where you could actually watch people go and check out Brooklyn, check out Williamsburg, check out the hot clubs and meatpacking, and actually figure out how you can fit in there yeah. and what's cool. We want to show you how to crash a party and not only know where to go, but how to act and how to be the cool girl. Who to bring? What's the cool lingo? <laughs> Um, even events like the U.S. Open, let's say you have to go to the U.S. Open, you have no idea yeah. what you're supposed to do. If you were to crash anyone's party in the whole world tonight, whose party would you go to? Justin Timberlake. I think James Franco throws good parties. Uh, one of those really trashy, like, Euro pop shows. <laughs> oh, probably the Hamptons White Party. Barack Obama. Bonnaroo. No, no, I'm, I'm going to go with Burning Man. <laughs> party to crash. So hopefully we can crash your city soon. I guess I'd just buy a plane ticket and figure it out. Yeah. Who would you bring with you? You guys. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs>